Boom! What is up, Wanderers? We are here for another one take bag review and check it out. We've got another Van Quest bag today. This is the Carbide 8. It is a sling bag uh, designed for EDC, everyday carry, and I think you're gonna dig it. All right, so let's check this thing out. You know what we do here. We do one take bag reviews and we're gonna do a full walkthrough of the outside of the bag, the inside, all the pockets, all the nooks and crannies. Then we're gonna talk about two things that we love about this bag, two things that mm, not so much, and an overall recommendation of should you buy this bag? All right, let's dig in. So again, this is the Carbide 8, and uh, this is part of VanQuest's uh, kind of urban series, and they are a little bit less tactical than some of the other VanQuest stuff, um, but uh, still uh, lots of pockets, still uh, spots for holsters if you do a CCW. Um, so let's dig in. You guys know I really like VanQuest, and in fact, the Adax, um, which is, where do I have it? Right here. The Adax is my favorite backpack that I own. That's right. The Adax 25 liter is my favorite backpack that I own for everyday use. That's my favorite backpack overall. All right, so let's dive in. What do we have going on here? We have one front pocket, one main compartment, and a back compartment going on on this bag. This is in multicam black. It comes in three different varieties. Uh, there's a gray, there's also kind of a denim blue. The gray is nice, the blue is a little weird, uh, but Overall, uh, I went with the Multicam Black. Also with VanQuest, you know you're gonna get a blaze bright orange interior, um, which I love. So, what's going on? We've got a grab handle here, a grab handle here, no grab handle here, and then on the back, we have a really nice cushion back which is ventilated in a seat belt material. Uh, 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 handle and uh, strap so you just toss it on pull it off swing it around it's a sling all right let's start with the front on VanQuest you have these really really nice zipper pulls that I've always really enjoyed so we will open it and you also with this bag have the option of a uh, quick open with this little doohickey right here that you can just leave unzip and pull down and it'll quick open your admin pocket and you could put a concealed carry holster in here for a smaller handgun um, if that's where you wanted to carry. So what do we have going on in this pouch? Well, if you know VanQuest, you know that they're going to be hyper organized and give you lots of options. So up top, we've got a neat little pocket for admin stuff. I've got my AirPods in there with custom wander case and I've got a wallet in there as well. All right, down here, blue light blocking glasses, flashlight, some pins, lots of room, pocket knife. On the front pocket, on the front of the pocket, you've got hook and loop. So, I put a little Max Fidesz, or excuse me, a VanQuest organizer, slap right on there, a little morale patch. But that's what you got going on up front. Not too much, not too little, a little bit of flexibility for hook and loop accessories. I like it. Second compartment. What do we have going on here? Well, it clamshells all the way open and sits flat. So if that's a really important thing to you, it does it. You have a tablet pocket back here. This is felt line. This is hook and loop compatible too. And I have my iPad in there. You're not gonna get more than an 11.9 inch iPad back here. Uh, 13 inch laptop, no go. 15 inch laptop, definitely not. But there is a second size of this bag. This is the Carbide 8. They also have the Carbide 12. 10, 12, a bigger size. And you can get a laptop in that one. All right, on the front, now this is really cool and it's something I haven't seen before. You've got two pockets and these VanQuest pockets are great. They're uh, ribbed so they've got good volume. They're not too tight. You can get a lot in there. I'll show you what I mean by that. But also you have zippers that run across the whole pocket. 
and it can zip either way, and you can open from either side. Why is that important? Because you can rig up this bag to be carried on either side. You've got attachment points to switch it around, and you can carry it on either side with no difficulty. It takes about two minutes to change the strap size. So you want this opening from the side that makes sense based on which shoulder you're carrying the bag on. So what do I have in here? I've got camera equipment. You know I've got camera equipment. And I've got my brick and my cords. So lots of space in this bag, lots going on, and that's not it. We've got a back compartment too. Another one that opens just about all the way up. There's a little bit of a little bit of a barrier there. Um, this one is actually uh, really nice as well for a uh, concealed carry holster or for other accessories. It's all hook and loop on both sides. Uh, you can use it as a drop pocket or you can add accessories. I've done both. Little drop pocket, put some masks down there. And up top, I've got a little Maxpedition pouch with all kinds of goodies. All right, so that is the walkthrough of the Carbide 8. The other thing that's really nice about this, and we're gonna now get into two things that we really like about this bag, it is light. Light as a feather. It's tough for me to convey that, um, but th this has got to weigh like a pound, maybe, maybe a pound and a quarter. It's super light, which is nice because of all the functionality. You don't want this to be a heavy bag and be able to load it up because then you're really talking about it hurting your shoulder when you're walking around. Um, but it's actually really light, really nice. What's the second thing I love about this bag? Pocket number one, pocket number two. Love them. This pocket, this admin panel, spot on. VanQuest makes the best admin panels in the business. That one, numero uno. This one, really good. This pocket, to have a perfect uh, carry for an iPad, plus this really useful double pocket on this side, uh, man, I love it. I love those pockets. So the organization in pocket one and pocket two, really spot on, and then the overall weight and lightness to the bag. Two things we really love about the bag. Two things we don't like as much. All right, so this feels like a waste. And I understand I can organize it myself. I don't wanna organize it myself. I've already got an organize it myself space in this bag. I've got two of them. I don't need three and four as well. Uh, and I get it, if maybe I'm putting mags for a gun, a gun, a holster, I get it. But I'd like one side of this to have some built-in pockets of this nature, maybe the other direction. I think that would have made this over the top a really great bag to have a little bit more structure or organization right there. Or, you know, don't make this zip down as far, cushion it a little bit more, make this the tablet sleeve, and put a little bit more organization right there. So options, but I think they missed a trick with this. I'd almost not use it, honestly. Um, so, what's the second thing I don't love? Well, unfortunately, it's the strap. The material's good. The hardware's kind of nice. It's just dinky. It, it's a cool bag. I feel like it should have a cool strap. Um, I'm thinking about like the strap on the Chrome Cadet. Uh, I, you should see how beefy the straps are on this honking thing. Like, Bayquest knows how to make really nice straps. They really do. So, I'm not sure what this thing is. It's a missed opportunity is what it is. All right, so should you buy this bag? <clears throat> well, I'm kind of torn. I, there's, there's more useful slings in the universe for an iPad, but the organization is good, like really good. And you can get this on sale 
pretty cheap. So should you buy it? If this fits your carry, especially if you've got some accessories that you know already will fit for hook and loop and you can get kind of full functionality out of this bag. Yeah, yeah, I, I do recommend it. It's light, it's easy to carry, it's super functional. I, I think you'll enjoy having this bag in your collection. And although I don't love the strap, I don't hate the strap. I think they could have done better, but it is comfortable. It doesn't cut into your neck or anything like that. I just want a beefier strap. Um, so that's the review. I think it's one to buy, but I'd wait and get it on sale. Uh, I, I wouldn't pay a hundred bucks for it. I'd shoot for like trying to get it for like the 59 range. Um, that's what I think it's worth. Uh, they don't skimp on materials. It's incredibly high quality. You'll like having the bag if you have a tablet carry. If not, um, you may want to go in a different direction. All right, so that's the review. I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope it's useful for you. If you did like the review, please leave a like and subscribe if you're new here. Check out my main channel at Bit of a Wander. Links in the video description as always for the products we talk about and for other information you might find useful. Everybody, thanks so much and we'll see you next time.